My name is Professor Nick Cutter. Eight years ago, my wife Helen disappeared. I discovered she had stepped into the past through ruptures in time called anomalies. Now creatures from the past threaten the future of the human race. There's only a small group of people who know the truth. My research team. <coughs> Stephen Hart. Connor Temple. And Abby Maitland. And government officials James Lester and Claudia Brown. I return from the past to find that something has gone terribly wrong and Claudia Brown has vanished as though she was never even born. I've come back to a different world. And Helen and I are the only two people who know it. Some force out there ripped the boundaries of space and time to shreds. Maybe it's happened before, in which case every single thing we thought we knew about the universe is wrong. Or this is the first time, in which case, what changed? What happens next? Believe me, it's very, very far from over. I don't make it back. Push Lester through the worst anomaly you can find. It's a given. We better ship this lot back before we upset Darwin. Now, nah, everybody, uh, grab a doodle. <sighs> Cretaceous era theropod dinosaur. Genuine article. Raptor. Oh, we thought we'd get one someday. Beautiful. I said it was beautiful. I didn't say it was friendly. She looks amazing. Hmm. So does other Velociraptor. Ancient civilizations spoke of monsters and dragons. Perhaps they weren't as naive as, as we assume. The anomalies are conclusive proof that the past exists in a fourth dimension as real and solid as those we already know. Our job is to predict and contain them. One raptor is a problem. Two means we've got an infestation and God knows how many others running around out there. I want you to take this back to the bowling alley and come and meet us over at the store. On my own? It's unconscious. You've got nothing to worry about. What if it's just plain dead? Plain dead? Yeah. You know, it's Cretaceous here at Predators Go. This creature's pretty smart, so... Yeah, you should probably watch out for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really? Would you let me talk to her? What about monsters? I'm conducting a serious murder investigation. There wasn't a murder. Anthony Barton was killed by an ancient marine predator, which then returned to its home millions of years in the past. Chase me. Look, I'm not being sentimental. There were good reasons for not killing the creature. And you're sure about that? No, of course I'm not sure. I've probably just made the biggest mistake of my life. Woo. Just a hunch, that's all. Woo. Oh. Well, that was a bit of a laugh, wasn't it? Silly mouse. I suppose this remarkable theory is correct. What are the immediate risks? Famine, war, pestilence, the end of the world as we know it, the, you know, the usual stuff. I think I could do without the physicians. Well, I could do without standing in some anemic office in Whitehall talking to a civil service pen pusher when I should be exploring the most significant phenomenon in the history of science. Shh. What? Shh. <laughs> <laughs> 
is it? Uh, diastodon. Male. Hermionera. Herbivores and burrowers. Chew their way through anything. You are an electrician's nightmare. <laughs> Come on, that's cute. Yeah, I mean, they're social creatures. <coughs> Wait, stay where you are. And quick, too. Yes. Take the stairs. You take the stairs. It's a bolus. The regurgitated mass of flesh and bone. The beast swallowed them whole and then vomited up what it couldn't digest. What type of creature could have done this to him? What you should be asking yourself is how the remains of a boy who was attacked in a swimming pool end up 20 miles away in a reservoir. Maybe there never was an anomaly. Maybe the girl murdered her boyfriend in the swimming pool and dumped his body in the reservoir. It's very likely, provided you also believe she swallowed him whole and then drove 20 miles down the motorway to regurgitate his remains. What? Where you're swinging that thing? <laughs> Next time, I'll leave it to you to get yourself out of trouble. Fine, it's not as if I was asking for help. You were doing so well on your own. Everything was fine until you showed up. What's going on? Don't worry, it's just a drug. I haven't had any drugs! <laughs> Don't do that again. <sighs> the anomaly is disappearing! Quick! You will be trapped here forever! I'm staying here to look for my wife. I'm not leaving you behind. Oh, what do you want to do? Shoot me? All right, you stay, I stay. That's, that's just childish. I'm not taking any more chances. I want it dead. Oh, just humor me. What? Have I ever let you down before? Don't answer that. Just trust me, please. Who's that? You've got until Ryan gets here. One chance, one shot. Never thought she'd buy that. No, neither did I. You little sh I want you to go and check it out and take Sid and Nancy with you. Oops. Light. What? Yeah, it was me. It was me with a zipper on a bottle of flammable gas. Do this anymore. Come here. We need you. If I hadn't been involved, I would still be alive. No. There's a handful of people in the whole world that know what's going on here, what we are grappling with, and you're one of them. That would have made his day. He'd have loved it. So you can't bail out now. Okay. Okay. Now come here. 